So right now, I'm going to talk about the making of patrolling part three. So basically, uh, patrolling part three um, is not really the third uh, patrolling. It's actually the fourth patrolling. There's patrolling one, patrolling two, patrolling 2.5, and patrolling three. Um, patrolling is, you know, a series done by my brother and myself. We created this, um, or started creating this back in, I think, 20... 13 and um, you know it was based on just a concept we were just working to try to do you know like a space anime you know we watch a lot of anime like uh, you know Gundam Macross and also Tekken and Blade and um, I'm just gonna do a quick breakdown of uh, what we did to well you know what I did to make it you know my brother worked on the music I worked on pretty much the animation of the series um so let me just get into it right away um so i'll just start off with the first sequence you know which was changed a lot dram uh, dramatically you know there's a lot of different little things that are done in it uh say for example this layer right here um actually has a lot going on in there um so i'll just turn it on so you can see now I have the main character, uh, the, one of the, the foregrounds, and then the background ships. On the foreground, there are actually several different pieces. I'll go into just one of them. Actually, go into the main. If you look on one of these, uh, just anything right here, you'll notice that there are several different um, things going on. on that particular, you know, I would say, um, object. When that object itself is what, you know, I'm bringing in multiple times as uh, the debris, and I call it debris. And if you look right there, I'm just animating each object. <laughs> and the same applies to going on in the background there I'll even go into the character and show you it's not you know it's just a little tricks here and there nothing too crazy the main character itself his thrust if you watch you know animated the thrust a little bit just not too much and then of course you know the blow off of the thrust you know you just have to give it you know a lot of tricks at the camera um, going into the next segment, I'll turn that back on so you can see. So now we have the the background. Turn it down, <coughs> and um, you know, of course, I had to throw in closed caption available because on uh, YouTube I do have closed caption, uh, which was actually just uh, segment. So again, the same thing applies again to the to the character. Oh, actually, let me go into this character here, so you can see the different things on him right here, on his eye patch. For this particular eye patch, it's just uh, a mask layer, and of course, I just had the uh, there. And if you go back in here though and turn these off, and then you can see the older things. I most times keep the older ones in there just so I can reference and see what changes I did. Okay, nothing much happened on that scene, just you know movement. And if you if you notice um the let's see. Oh, this was a little bit different too. That was one of the, the difference I did to that. I break down the drawings. And the same applies again to here. If you 
Watch it very slowly. See this slight parallax, nothing too crazy. Just very, very light, very a subtle movement in each of the characters. So here we go. And um, right here, if you look on their lips, they have pretty much all the different lip motions. Same thing applies to the other character back here too. Not much, because she doesn't really say much anyway. This should be warping in. More debris. Just so you know, there's some things I wanted to go back and touch upon, but I didn't feel like going back into that. More and more debris again. Here. A lot more debris. And the, and the same thing applies to these debris. Debris from, like, this is the same debris that I use, which I showcased earlier. I use multiple times. There we go. Characters talking. I'm muting the, the dialogue from the video so you can actually hear me clearly because if I have it running, you know, you probably won't hear me. So, breaking down just more parts of the scenes. And again, foreground, background. Nothing too crazy. Just subtle movement, subtle panning. And uh, with this character, the main villain, she actually doesn't have a name. If you look at how this actually occurs, so I'll actually show it to you. See, so trick is boom. There we go. I'll go into him right now so you can see what he looks like. And it's many facets. That was one of his original sketches way back. And of course I refined them each time until I came to a design that I actually liked. I had the wings. The wings were actually one of the last things I did. So I was like, hmm, I wanted to create a, a different unique kind of a wing for this character. But I wasn't sure how I would actually handle that. Actually, I should even go over one of the other things I did. Like, if you look on this side, on the, the different characters, I will slowly go through them so you can see these are the different things, poses, the different character. The cat thing, you know, broken down in certain segments. Hmm, what's missing here? Death the Blast. Yeah, I tried a lot of different things, you know, I tried things that I thought that would work. The color keys for the characters, the captain, and for Cairo. And these are all his different keys. see it a little bit better. All the different keys, different little things. Oh, and I even created this elite team at one point, which was scrapped. One of the 3D models I attempted to create for it, but I didn't like it. It just didn't come out right. More little things. 
and that's as far as I'll go with effects and the good stuff, but I'm not going to go into those at this point in time. Backgrounds, 3D imports, and things that I did. So, going in a little bit more, even with the character again. So, for almost all the little parts, I try to do, you know, little keyframes. Very subtle keyframes. Subtle in betweens. play down a little bit more and again you know there was going to be a lot more action but just time constraints and you know different things that had to be handled so there we go with this blast he quickly blocks it puts up a barrier there we go more stuff more debris You know, the captain gets upset because of a comment that he made. Again, if you want to know more, just watch that. Watch the series. And here we go. A little fight. I'll go into this one because this is a little different than what it appears to be. So. If you go back, if you see all these little breakdowns. Yeah, there was a, a lot of crap went into this. This was no easy peasy thing. A lot went into it. You, you know, hopefully I got it right. And the same thing for this guy. Uh, a lot of different little things here and there. I think, you know, you just have to understand how to utilize the tool. Oh, I know. <laughs> totally forgot one thing, you know, going over these little bottom areas. I'll go over that in a second. So, of course, going in for that, going in for the kill. I'm surprised I didn't make this a keyframe. I totally didn't even realize I didn't make those. Oh, that's for that. So, I knew you made the guy a keyframe. Okay, so boom. Interesting. Okay. Knowing when and how. More keyframe. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. And here, this is Alright, so I'll go in for this one so you can see. So go in, boom, turns, turns, turns. Prepares for the kill. So I'll go into the lower frames. Actually, one, one layer at a time, actually. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so he turns around, prepares to blast the other captain. Fires and then shoots off. And there you go. And that's pretty much the quick breakdown of patrolling. Two, uh, three actually. But there's just one other caveat. There are other little scenes that I did start working on, but I just turned them off or hid, pretty much hid them. Things I was doing, you know, anytime I came up with a little idea, I would, you know, I just never wanted to delete them. I just kind of hid them from the viewers' sites. Any, you know, anything else that I had in mind, any of the scenes that I was working on, ideas. You know, key uh, markers, whichever you want to call them. Had several different things that I had in mind. You know, because I changed 
several times along the way. You know, try to make it work. Try to give it you know, the setting timing and everything. And I'm not gonna go into every one of them. There are a few that's probably gonna skip, but just to give you an idea of you know the level of work that went into it. If it's accepted or not, that's fine. You know, I loved working on it. I, I think it came out okay. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.